Here's an example of a well-wrapped cable. You see that all the loops are the same size and that both ends meet at the top. This one is a tragedy. I don't want to know what happened here. RIP. I see the vision. I respect the vision, but not ideal for a film set. And this is another common way to wrap cables, but again, not ideal for a film set. You don't want to waste time fighting your cable to untangle it. You ideally want to be able to grab one end of it and throw the rest of it across the room or wherever you're trying to patch it into. You'll start by holding one end of your cable with your non-dominant hand between your thumb and your forefinger, and with your dominant hand, go down the cable about an arm's length and bring that up to your non-dominant hand. You'll see that your cable has a memory of its own and it knows where it wants to make a loop, so all you're really doing is guiding it back into that shape. Sometimes you'll have to spin or twist that longer end of the cable so that the loops lie flat, but besides that, you're not forcing anything. Remember that the cable knows where it wants to go. You'll have to practice this a bunch to get the hang of it, but you'll know you've done a good job when all of your loops are the same size and when both ends of your cable meet in your hand.